Hey guys, Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing my top 10 winter fashion must-haves. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. All right, let's get into it. If you don't know, I am originally from Michigan and then in my early to mid 20s, I lived in LA where the weather is much warmer than it is here. And then when I was 25, I moved back to Michigan, which is where I currently live. And the winters are cold. I don't know, I think before I moved, like in at the beginning of college and in high school and whatnot, I just wore whatever I wanted to wear regardless of what the weather said and then I just froze and dealt with it. And then as I got older and I moved back here, I started realizing that I needed to dress a little bit more weather appropriately and I have found some tips and tricks along the way and I've also realized that you can still look cute while being warm, which is just something that I think a lot of people don't think is possible. And so I wanna share just kind of how I have built up my winter wardrobe and just some things that are always in my winter closet. If you live somewhere that does not get that cold, then this video is probably not gonna be very helpful for you. But either way, let's go down the list. I think I have one bonus item. So I think there are actually 11 items on this list. The first thing is a pair of either only slightly distressed or non-distressed jeans. I have so many pairs of denim that are just completely ripped up. And when you have that many holes in your jeans in the winter, the wind just goes right through them. The pair that I'm showing you right now, those ones have just two rips in them. So one on each side, they're kind of more slits. So not a lot of air can go through those. So those ones aren't bad. Also just having a regular non-distressed pair is great as well. I have a couple of pairs of non-distressed dark denim that I wear throughout the winter. So having a pair of really good non-distressed denim that you cannot have air flow through is essential when it gets super cold out. I always preach about having really good basics that you can wear at all times, just at any occasion. And I think that having a white ivory cream sweater is just an absolute essential. I have countless ones. The one I'm sharing today is this palm sleeve one. It's really cute. It's got just statement sleeves and it's a really chunky knit. I have so many though. So I will link a few favorites down below. I just think that it's really classic to have you can wear them for the holidays you can dress them up dress them down wear them to the office wear them running errands to get coffee at home lounging on the couch like there are endless ways to wear them and it's just a really good staple to have in your closet because if you're in a pinch and you need something to wear it's one of those pieces that you could wear anywhere i really like having warm but not too thick socks and also ones that are tall enough for boots i've noticed that a lot of the fuzzy socks that i've purchased over the years are a little bit too short to go over the boot which sometimes i like that look that it's hanging out of your boot and i also have noticed that some of them are just way too thick to even fit into your shoes for boots i generally size up a half a size knowing that i'm going to be wearing thicker socks because it's cold out obviously. And if I'm wearing snow boots, then it's cold enough to be wearing thicker socks. But that being said, I still don't wanna be wearing socks that make my feet like a full size bigger than they normally are. And I also want them to be tall enough for the option to hang over the boot. I think the moral of that story here is that warmth doesn't have to mean super, super chunky. On that same note, I think having a scarf that is really nice and warm but not overpowering is essential i also personally think that having this in a neutral color is great because then no matter what color you're wearing you can wear that scarf with it i am a true believer which you will see in all of the accessories that i share today all of them are neutral and it's for a reason i don't want to put on you know, a pink or a red or a green or a blue sweater and then realize that my scarf doesn't match that. So then I have to change my scarf and then my coat doesn't match my scarf or my jacket. Like I think it's really easy to start clashing with patterns and colors really quickly. So if you have neutrals as your outerwear pieces, then you can wear whatever you want underneath in your clothing pieces because they don't need to match. So back to the scarf, I think having a scarf that isn't super overpowering, a lot of the blanket scarves that are out are a chunky knit and then it adds so much volume here. I've noticed sometimes I almost feel like I'm suffocating, like the scarf goes all the way up all the way on my neck. You can't button your coat with it on because it's too chunky and it just adds way too much volume and I just don't think that that's very comfortable. So I really like the scarves that are a tighter knit but they're thinner so they're super warm they don't let the air through but they don't add as much bulk to you so you can still wear them stay warm 
and not be overpowered by this blanket on your body. As far as accessories go, I think having a really great warm beanie is just absolutely a must have as well as warm gloves or mittens and I really like having pieces like the ones that I am showing you because they can be dressed up or dressed down they're more versatile than a lot of other ones I'm not wearing like a ski beanie or you know athletic gloves I think these are pieces that can easily work if you're running errands or if you are going out to dinner on date night or going to like a show or something like that so I think having pieces that are versatile and work for either or is super important I'm also going to link these faux fur earmuffs I think they are so cute and those would be a great option if you want something that's not gonna mess up your hair if you are going on a date night and going you know into a restaurant or something like that after walking around downtown downtown you could have the earmuffs on so only you know the band would be over your hair so you wouldn't be messing up your entire hairstyle the beanie as long as you don't have it on all day i've noticed you can kind of just like zhuzh your hair and it'll kind of come back to life again depending on your hair type but uh, the earmuffs are so cute and they're on my wish list when it comes to staying warm it's all about layering and i really love having a nice thermal like a thin thermal long sleeve shirt so i have this one this is a henley cut and this one i have gotten a couple of colors i also have just a regular crew neck that is perfect to go under everything i think i have that one in like four colors but that one is perfect and you can wear both of these under sweaters but because they are so thin they aren't adding a bunch of bulk to you so again i don't like when you are adding layer on top of layer on top of layer and then you start looking like a marshmallow i think it's really nice to have thin layers like this that when you add a sweater on top of it you don't look like you just gained 30 pounds so really really thin long sleeve thermals are just a great layering piece bone leather leggings are another one that i just think are so perfect you can dress them up or dress them down and and they're a really good easy lounge piece that you can wear I think a lot of us are probably not dressing up as much as we normally would this year so the faux leather leggings are great to just lounge around at home but you can also dress them up enough that you could wear them you know at home for Christmas or something like that um, you can also wear them out which is awesome they look really chic with like black boots and a really pretty sweater but of course you can wear them with like a sweatshirt and sneakers so they're very very versatile and I just can't get enough of them. I actually did a full video sharing different ways to style them, which I can link up in the cards in case you're interested in that. Okay, let's talk about outer outer wear. So I have two pairs of boots that I wanna share with you. The first one are my snow boot wedges. These ones are waterproof, they're warm, but they are wedges, so they look a little bit more dressy. These are the boots that I wear in the winter if we are going to dinner, if we're going out with friends, saying all these things that we do that we're not really doing this year but in theory if those were things that we were doing um those would be the shoes that i would wear i just love that they're super warm and i can't get enough of them so highly recommend those and then when it comes to having footwear for like different occasions in the winter i also have a pair of snow boots these are the ones that i actually picked up this year during black friday but I don't think they were that big of a discount so i will still link them below and they're definitely worth the money um, i have a couple of different pairs of snow boots the other pair i have are much bulkier so i wanted a pair that was kind of easier to walk around in so if we went for a walk in the winter or you know just even shoveling the driveway or anything like that even errands when it's cold out and it's snowy and slushy these are waterproof they're warm they're easy to walk in and they're high enough so that you're not going to get snow inside of your boot which is the worst so so both of these I think are great because you can wear them for different reasons and the wedges you can literally walk around all day and be completely comfortable. So I like to have two different kind of options. I'm not going to wear the flat snow boots out to a restaurant at night. I just feel like they're not, they're not dressy enough for that. But if I am going out to dinner at night, I still want to be warm and waterproof. Next up, I have a black parka. I'm saying black specifically, but it could be any neutral color. I just love black because it just goes with everything. A lot of times I'll wear black leggings, and when I have the black leggings and my black parka, I just think it's a really chic, easy to throw on look. And this one I've had for a couple of years. They do have an updated version this year, which is the one that I will link, but I love this. It's lightweight enough that you don't feel like you're wearing a super heavy coat but it is super warm 
which is amazing and it has just the zipper pockets it's everything that you would need in a really good basic and then lastly is investing in a really good quality parka this one i have again in like a neutral color this i love because i can wear this to dinner i can dress it up again i don't have to dress it up though you can wear it dressed down this would be a great item to wear to the office the faux fur is removable so you can completely take that off if that's not your vibe and i just absolutely love this i have worn it so many times in so many different ways it's actually the coat i was wearing when we got engaged last year or i guess earlier this year um, and it's just incredible it's definitely a splurge but it's one of those items that will stay in style for years and years and years and you kind of get what you pay for in terms of outerwear a lot of the times so this i think is definitely worth the splurge because you will have it for years to come Alrighty, guys those are my top winter fashion must-haves let me know what your must-haves are down below give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos thanks so much for watching bye guys